Since ancient Rome, animal poisons have been used to heal rather than harm the human body. Scientists in Morocco are now enlisting robots to industrialise the harvesting of scorpion venom to help detect, prevent and cure disease. There are around 2,000 species of scorpion, each producing venom made up of a complex mix of chemicals. The Deathstalker scorpion produces chlorotoxin, which attaches itself to cancer cells and when mixed with a fluorescent dye, lights up to make tumours visible. Venom from the Buthus tamilus scorpion may turn out to be a potential immunosuppressant for treating conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis. And proteins derived from venom are being used to help develop anti-malarial drugs. As more venom-based ingredients are identified and more efficient methods are developed to create new drugs, scientists are working out how best to extract the venom from its deadly hosts. Milking scorpions by hand is a time-consuming and dangerous process. One method is to use carbon dioxide to knock the scorpion out. A small electrical current contracts the tail muscles and squeezes out tiny amounts of the venom, equivalent to one ten-thousandth of a teaspoon. The scorpion milking robot developed by the Moroccan team aims to make venom extraction faster and safer. The remote control system keeps the scorpion at arm's length, clamps the tail and delivers the electrical current before safely capturing the precious droplets of venom. At $8,000 per gram, it is probably the most expensive liquid in the world. But robotic scorpion milking may not yet be a path to riches. Scorpions can only be milked every couple of weeks and they may not take kindly to intensive farming.